before that came out of the womb, Salaf, you got a butcher in it. Before Don't I, laugh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I Wait, said thee. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee to be a prophet. Yeah, sanctify is to set apart. Yeah, man, it's already set apart. The most I already gave, you know, the the basically already seen the instruction within the spirit of Jeremiah to be a prophet of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. In, in the spirit, you know, the, the, the spirit of the pro, uh, prophets are subject to the prophets. So if being a prophet, back in the day, so you be a prophet again, man. You know? And it doesn't matter if these people don't like it because it is what it is. It, it, it had been like that since the, the days that were in front of us, man. You know? They misused the prophets, man. You know, they didn't give, give, give heed. They, did, they, they took the words of Yahweh Basham Yahushai lighten you, and that's basically what was going on in, in this time, in this day and age as well, man. <coughs> you know? They'd be like, ah, yeah, uh, you know, and, and when this C19 hit, then people were, you know, uh, like, well, yeah, uh, well, what's going on, you know? What do we need to do? Yeah, what do we need to do? Then you want to come out, but then it was, you know, eased up again, oh, it's not that bad, or basically, you know, and you had these, these, these uh, church people coming out. <laughs> out of the woodwork, you know. We are here every week, man. We just keep going on. We keep teaching, man. In season, out of season. That's what it is, man. Uh, you have the... The First Corinthians? Mm -hmm. This is First Corinthians, chapter 14. And Psalm 22, man. Can we? Uh, first... <coughs> uh, 32. First 32. Uh, and the spirits of the prophets are subjected to the prophets. Yeah, man. So, can you read it again? Come This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, uh, verse 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subjected to the prophets. Yeah, man. That's what it is, man. So, it's subject to the prophets. If it's been like that in the, in the beginning, it has, uh, you know, it's going to be like that right now, too, man. Can you get Hebrews uh, uh, chapter uh, 1? Psalms. Can't read it's the book of Psalms, chapter 22, verse 9. <clears throat> but thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me whole when I was upon my mother's breast. You see, so already thou art he who took me out of the womb. Thou, you know, the most high is the one that made, that, that made us whole, man. It was already installed within us, but we had to go through some things. And then when the time was right in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, he woke us up, man. Can you read verse 10? God. <coughs> I was cast upon thee from the womb, thou art my power from my mother's belly. You see, thou art my power from my mother's belly. If you believe in Yahweh Basham uh, Yahushai, you already you, you acknowledge him. You know? So thou art my, pow uh, my power since what? Since when? Uh, I was cast upon thee from the womb, thou art my power from my mother's belly. Mother's belly, man. That's that's hey, that's that's hey, you got problem, man. You uh get Psalm 111 verse uh, 10. See, sometimes you go to precepts, you see you wrote it down twice and, and top in the bottom. So hey, <laughs> can you get the uh, Sarah uh, 24 verse 8? Oh, the page is just sticking. Yeah, hey, I had to go yeah. to a few. I was like, hey, <laughs> man, this, hey, this part of the, the the work, man, the the, the sacrifice, man, that we put in, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, because it's all praise to the Heavenly Father, to, you know, that He put the Spirit upon us to be in every weekend, man, because you know you could have been a damn grimy nigga, in the, you know, just being somewhere. Not doing, doing nothing really, but now the most has, has, has uh, you know, called us, the young of the have chosen us, you know, to uh, you know, do this work and to make it, man, you know, to make it out of this hell, man, and to be rewarded with, with, hey, with, with everlasting life, with, with spiritual power, you know, with you know, uh, uh land. We're gonna live, man, this is not living, man, you know, that's. 
not depth, it's, it's these fucking heated that are around the world. Let's see. Sodomites everywhere. Everything's polluted. Your children are getting sick from time to time. Oh, it's normal. It's not fucking normal, man. It's not normal, man. Yeah, these, these, these uh, uh, you know, these, uh, not smallpox, but, you know, the it's basically, they call it water fucking. It's basically your whole blisters. You, you, you have putrefied, you know, um, source all over the body. That's not normal for, to, to get that, man. Oh, it's normal, you know, in certain age, you have to get that. It's this bullshit that ESOS is uh, pushing out, man. And of course, hey, it's all, you know, we go to chastisement of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but they don't stay in, uh, uh, in the faith, man, and stay thankful, man. And all our enemies are going to be recompensed for every shit that they've been doing, man, because a lot of things we don't see. You know, like, uh, you know, but it is going on, man. It is being revealed, you know, because, you know, these are too much technology. You have, you know, 5G, you have all types of uh, things that are going on. Uh, uh, going on. We're just dropping that from, from the sky. Now, to, to be honest, we're being built up and now we're seeing uh, uh, things, man. But Esau has a lot of weaponry that we don't know about, man. We see what he is doing. Yeah, we see that, but we... <laughs> Esau didn't show all his uh, weaponry right, uh, right now, man. That's going to come out and it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be a hell of a party in that day, man. Because they're going to destroy each other and that's the fun, funny part, man. <coughs> so, and they, their weapons aren't going to do shit against us, man. No, you know, if you can get that in uh, Isaiah 50, uh, 4 and uh, 17 and... Uh, Have, uh, Sirach? Yeah, man. This is Sirach, chapter 24, verse 8. Uh, so the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me was my tabernacle to rest, and said, Let thy dwellings be in Jacob, and thine inheritance, uh, inheritance in Israel. Yeah, man, it's uh, speaking about wisdom, man. So it dwells within us, man. We know, man. These devils here, yeah, the, the are wiser than Daniel. You know, he has he had his uh, uh, things going on, but now, you know, we're in the end of this thing. Like an uh, 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 older brother, you know, uh, also said, man, we're in the end of this thing, and we know, man. You know, we know we're at the end, man, so we need to know what's going on, man. So we can warn y'all for what's coming, man. That the mark of the beast is going to be implemented, that Jacob's trouble is coming, you know. You see things like, uh, you know, like, uh, what was it, Espirito Santo in, uh, in Brazil? When people, the, the cops were on strike for like a month or something, and people were shooting, driving buses, it was worse. It was just like a live verse. Those days are coming and going to be perpetual for a long, for a long time, man. You know, they're going to be for a long time. The people, these these females, these, these proud proud females, they're going to be in in, in Paris, man. They ain't gonna be uh, on Instagram no more, you know, flexing, oh, I have a new shoe, walking out their butt, you know, or standing like a damn horse with one one leg in, in, in front, you know, they have that horse stand, man. That's what they do, you know? Being all bald, you know, in the caps like a uh, wish or whatever, you know, silly things like that, or your, 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 your favorite uh, female or your dream or whatever, who the fuck you think you are, man? But hey, it is what it is. Your pride is, is hey, just, just go enjoy, man. Enjoy your moment, you know. Love is a blessing. Do your thing, man. Until the, until the, the most I can pull up, man. Until your Hava Basham Yahusha is going to put you in terror, man. And then what? What is your, all your makeup going to do, man? Gone? Gone. Uh, verse 9. He created me from the beginning before the world. And I shall never fail. Come on, man. Wisdom shall never fail, man. And wisdom coming from Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Can you get that in uh, Sirach uh, 101? <coughs> yeah, read. God. Verse uh, 10. In the holy tabernacle I served uh, before him, and so was I established in Zion. Come So was I established in Zion, man. Zion means monument, man. That's Yasha Allah, man. We are the most high's monument, man. Come children of Israel, man. God. Verse 11. Likewise, in the beloved city, he gave me rest, and in Jerusalem was my power. God. Me? Verse 12. And I took root 
uh, in an honorable people, even the portion of the Lord's inheritance. You see, I took root in an honorable people, even the Lord's inheritance. Who are, who are those people? The children of Israel, man. You know? Especially the elect, man. But they all Israel shall be saved, man. It's a scripture say, man. But on this side, you know, you have the, the, the ones that Having faith and for pushing truth, this this damn hellhole and pushing the word out, you know, and, and serving Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai, man, and sincerity and in, and in truth, man. While others just all out there in La La Land walking with masks in the open air, man. What the fuck's <laughs> yeah. going on, man? You know? Thinking that, uh, you know, now you have Esau with his uh, robots and all that, man. Your elder Yashawama went in it, man. You know, can you imagine having Big Mama? You know, right, the, <laughs> right oh, back. The Jets are there, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. The, yeah. the, the big mom, you know, the, the, uh, you have the, the mother in the house and, and her mother, and always talking shit in the back. You know, the grandmother, basically, man. Or the grandmother, you know, the, the big mom, basically, in the house, uh, if I say it correctly, man. Because she had, uh, um, yeah, you know that uh, big mama is the, is the grandmother, right? Yeah. Oh, the mother of the... Uh, yeah, yeah, the grandma, yeah. Yeah, big mama, no big Oh, talking shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, she got You know, making that, that uh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, now Esau put in the spirit, so-called, of their deceased, uh, 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 you know, loved ones, in a robot. <laughs> damn Terminator, yeah, man. Terminator. I was like, damn, I was getting flashbacks <laughs> yeah. of Terminator too, man. I was like, damn, this is the creepiest it's scary, fuck. man. It's scary. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what Esau is doing, man. To his son, you know, to his line, on this is technology, you know, it's, uh, it's his witchcraft. He's back, you know, uh, and he has. Now I even saw an article that there's uh, a lot of robots taking over, man. In, 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 in uh, you know, concerning jobs and that. <coughs> so that's the, the, the thing that we're going towards in these uh, exoskeleton suits and all that, man. Esau comes with his technology. He wants to, you know, even. You know, uh, 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 you know, <laughs> people have dreams, man, of, of, uh, of us fighting, you know, or me fighting against the metal monster, you know. So Isa's gonna pull up with his uh, technology, man. He's gonna pull up with his uh, with his army, but also with uh, things that he has behind the doors, man. And he's showing you a glimpse of what he's doing, man. He's gonna pull up with something, but hey, can you read the scripture? Uh, you were, uh, that was done, right? Because that, that's a beautiful chapter too, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of beauty in there, man. Uh, but, you know, you know so we can jump in the video concerning that. But, uh, well, yeah, the, the, the wisdom, uh, uh, yeah, that, that one. It's the book of Barak, <coughs> chapter 1. And what? All wisdom cometh from the Most High and is with Him forever. You see, all wisdom cometh from the Most High, man. So, uh, let me see. Shit gonna happen, man. The most high, y'all decided that day. He got he got us protected, man. You know, he has his edge around us, man. You know? Okay? Uh, this uh, is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh by Sham Shai, and the righteousness is of me, said Yahweh. Okay. So um what did you have? Um I have uh, first Corinthians. Okay. Oh that already read, right? The subject of the yeah, you have to read it. Yeah, that's And uh, Hebrews. For, uh, Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews. You want that? Uh, you all basically... Yeah, yeah, you're already there. Just yeah, read it yeah. because we just like to jump in a bit. But, okay? You want to go to... Uh, to um, 
Son drive times and in di uh, diverse manners uh, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yeah, so you see that the most high spoke in times past prophets, and even uh, uh, in, in this statement, it's the same thing. The most high raised up his prophets, rising up early, man, you know, to warn the people, man, and that's what we're doing. We get to say of 58 and uh, that is how the Most High speaks, man. He speaks to his servants and prophets, man. Yeah, that, that makes me jump back to uh, uh, Proverbs, man. And uh, also, this the book of Amos, chapter three, verse seven. Surely Yahweh the Most High will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, man, and, and what do we do? We bring out the truth, man. We bring out the, uh, the things before they happen, man. You know, we're speaking about, you know, the perilous times. We already see it, man. Of course, of course, of course. It's, it's very heavy in the news right now, man. Russia's being, uh, you know, uh, put out there as the, the ultimate bad guy, you know. Up to the border and all that, man. That's an act of warfare itself, man. If people pull up to to, to, to the border of a country that they are beefing with in, in the news, that they are talking against, like, hey, man, you shouldn't be doing this or 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 else. And you pull up like this with your with your army. What's what's the message that you're sending out, man? If people pull up like that at your house with weapons, you think, hey, they're coming to do to, to do something, man. You know, and that's basically what it is, and that aggravates the people, man. And that's also why, you know, Esau's being made, uh, made uh, small among the heathen. Esau's, uh, you know, he's already being, uh, this, this is being, this, this is being a preparation of, you know, the, before the real fight, the physical fight is, is about to pop off. Man. It's the book of Obadiah. Uh, let me start at verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. You see, so I uh, make you small among the heathen. Even these devils are going to be like, damn, I, I ain't want to deal with this uh, damn, uh, you know, uh, with these Americans, man. I, I hate them, man. You know? All the people also will, will see what the fuck's going on, man. And even in the Middle East, you know, they've been calling uh, America the great Satan for, for ages, man. Because they are, man. They are, man. Burning flags and all that because they know what these devils do because they see it firsthand. In the neighbor, in the news from the neighboring country, they see what's going on. We just received uh, uh, Al Jazeera or whatever uh, RT news or whatever alternate, uh, alternative news channels that they have, man. They've been in it, man. They were born in it, you know. They were, they were in it already, man. <laughs> but uh, can you get the Jeremiah 50? Yeah, some. Uh, uh, yeah. You can go to. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to Isaiah. Second Ezra 16. So in the missiles. <coughs> and you can, uh, you in uh, Jeremiah, look at me. I got 50. Um, verse. Grab Isaiah 47, you can come and bab and the uh, in 50 verse. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> so the guy is all the most believe that there. Nine, yes. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse nine. For lo, I will raise, uh, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. They shall send us.
man. The most I is in control. You there? Uh, the musical? In the sequel? Oh, I thought you oh. asked it. Ask it. Yeah, no, no, I thought you, you said cons. So I was like, hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> he uh, likes to be. <laughs> This is the, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 14. Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto God, Thus said Yahweh the Mosai, In that day when my people of Israel dwell in safety, shall thou not. Son of man, prophesy and say unto God, Thus said Yahweh the Most High, In that day when my people of Israel dwell in safely, shalt thou not know it? And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts. Yeah, man, these, these Russians come. Thou and many people with thee, all of them uh, riding on, upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. Yeah, my soul, they're gonna come with a mighty big army, man. And it's gonna be warfare. You can see Russia already with, with Babylon, man. So this is uh, Russia versus uh, versus Babylon versus the uh, USA, man. You know, and this is all in the scriptures, man. You know, so we can jump back to uh, Jer uh, uh, Jeremiah 50, 50 verse 9. Sorry, that's by the... Uh, Start from the top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 9. <laughs> For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. Yeah, man, so everything will, they will be totally decked out, man. You know, when, when, when this war is going about to pop off, you know, they're going to be pulling up with their army, man. It's not going to be uh, no jokes anymore, man. It's not going to be talking, talking, but even sometimes you look at the news, but hey man, just get it all. But hey, you need to be like, hey, hey, certain things need to happen according to the most high time, man. But you get tired of these people talking and talking and talking, like, yeah, I'm going to do this and that. Mm. You know, you, of course you're going to get tired. You, you hear people talking and, you know, and, and be like, yeah, I got this and that going on, but you ain't making no moves. But mm. hey, they're going to, yeah. And, <laughs> that, and that's like, us. Hey. Huh? And that's us. Let alone Putin who got the red button. <laughs> Yeah, man. You got the red button, so like, oh, you wanna, you wanna have women talking now? Oh, okay. Oh, you wanna, I got the red button right here, so you know. Yeah, man. Hey, they go for this. And it's gonna be this perfection because everything will fall right into its place. Literally, figuratively, man. The this is gonna be falling at the right places as well, man. Dropping people, you know, uh, in the in the in the in the in in lake of fire, man. Mm -hmm. That's the lake of fire, man. Cause these these you see these. Uh, uh, like in Terminator 2, you see the when the missile drops, you see the like a sea of, of uh, you know uh, of, of fire and brimstone coming towards and blowing everything to to spin around basically. Yeah, yeah, really. First nine. Uh, let me start the, where I was. From ten, from ten, she shall be taken. The arrow shall be uh, as of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. Yeah, man, so the arrow shall be like a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. When this, when this missile is about to be shot off, you know, what are you going to do, man? Can you go to uh, is, uh, to a second as it's uh, 16? First 9? Uh, yeah, you can start that. If we is 13, I don't want to... Uh, this is uh, the book of Second Esther, uh, chapter 16, verse 9. A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who and was lucky, and woe is he that may quench it. Yeah, who is he that may quench it, man? There's many woe in there, man. <laughs> That's gonna be happening, man. Yeah, man. So what what you gonna do? Who gonna, who gonna put out the fire that the Lord gonna start, man? Who, who's gonna put it out, man? No one, man. Because it will reach its goal, man. Huh? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? Yep. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even our own people, you know, uh, <laughs> back in the, in the days of Moses, you know, when, when, he, when the Moses spoke, to thunder, and they, they were like, you know what, uh, Moses, you talk with the Moses, okay? We, 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 
he gonna listen now? You know? It's very scary, man. Okay? Um, yeah, how was your threat? And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Yeah, who shall not be utterly beaten to powder, man? Okay? The earth quaker and the foundation thereof. The sea arising up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before Yahweh and before the glory of his power. Okay. For strong is his right, is his right hand that bended the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world. Yeah man, these nuclear missiles, you know, they are being made ready, man. You know, and the funny thing is these devils are, are, are boasting of their nuclear capability and whatever, <coughs> you know flexing with the army, but they all going to be destroyed, man. The majority of them, of course, the, the elites, they're going to flee in these bunkers. You're going to grab them out of there, man. You are sorry of those men that's going to, you know, be doing that work too, man. They're having some fun. Can't read. This is Joel chapter 2, verse 7. They shall run like mighty men. They shall right. climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways and they shall not break their ranks. Yeah, man, it's gonna be perfection. No missiles gonna be messing up. It's gonna be imperfection to the target, man. Yeah, man. Verse eight. Neither shall one trust another. Yeah, that, you see? Huh? They shall walk everyone in his bed. And when they, uh, they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Hey, man, everything that, that you see happening, man, <laughs> now, Future, hey, the Mossad is going to do some damage to these thermonuclear missiles, man. Gun? Gun. That's basically the... Yeah, that, uh, yeah, in the first nine. Gun? Yeah, of, nah, yeah, first ten. Uh, nay, four, first nine, so lucky. <laughs> uh, they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, the stars shall withdraw the shining. Yeah, man, it's gonna be a terrible day, man. When the most is gonna shut off, shoot off those missiles, man. Okay? Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, uh, yeah, jump yeah, back. That's basically it. Someone's looking for. Can you go to Zechariah? Chapter 16, verse um, 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come to the earth. This is Zechariah, chapter 14, <coughs> verse 12. Lucky this page yeah, is man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, can you read that one again? Uh, God. Second Esther 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Yeah, man, the plagues are sent. These missiles are, are, are plagues, man. You know? For these, uh, for these nations that disobey Yahweh Vashon Yahushai, for those that disobey the Lord of our people, man. You know? The Moses going to destroy a lot of people, man. Two thirds of uh, our people are going to be destroyed as well. Get that in the. Uh, oh, you, you already. Uh, yeah, already. Can you. Can you uh, so the plagues are sent. Yeah, come on. Okay. Uh, this is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this, shall, uh, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Yeah, man, so, you know, the eyes shall melt, man. You know, the tongue, you know, the tongue shall consume in their mouth. What's going to do that, man? They shall, st they're standing up on their feet and they're going to melt away, man. What's going to do that? That's thermonuclear fire, man. You know, like in the, the ter Terminator 2 Judgment Day, that Sarah Connor, that nuclear missile scene, you know, and also in the other the Terminators, they also basically recreated it. The, the destruction was going to come. But the, the, the most horrific scene is the, 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 the Terminator 2, man, Judgment Day, man, when that missile.
missile drop, that really was like, damn, that's, if that would happen, you know, because you didn't in the world, you'd be like, uh, you know, you, you, you like, don't really know. But if that happens, man, I was like, whoa, shit, man, what you gonna do? How you gonna get out of that, man? You can't, except by the, the, the true spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. When you sense the, 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 the chariots, man, you know? So, um, let me see. Yeah, can you, uh, can you? Yeah? <coughs> The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. Yeah, man. And the earth will not be destroyed, like blowed up, man. Because uh, can you get that in uh, Ecclesiastes 1? Uh, Ecclesiastes 1, verse 16. Because, you know, a lot of people think like, oh, the earth going to blow up and boom, boom, boom. You know, it's going to be uh, the end. Nothing's going to be left. No, man. It's going to be cleansed. Yeah. You want that one, no? Yeah, man. Uh, one of four. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, chapter 1, verse 4. One generation passes away, and another generation uh, cometh, but the earth abided forever. Yeah, man. So the earth going to be here forever. It's going to be, you know, totally, uh, you know, burning up, you know, the majority. And you know, the Most High, uh, he's not going to make the world explode like some uh, Cyrax uh, from Mortal Kombat and some, 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 you know, some, uh, what was it, uh, some fatality. Cyrax, like, with all these bombs. But really, they show you, like, hey, And you see the world, you see, like, a zoom out, like, in space, you see the Earth, and you see them boom, and everything explodes, you know? That ain't going to be, that ain't going to be the case, man. You know, but it's gonna be a lot of missiles, you know, that's good. that's gonna, you know, destroy and bring a lot of fire, man, to the to the ones that are disobedient, man. So, this is the thing. Only if you take a look at that, you know, can you get the <coughs> uh, second Peter three, verse uh, ten, and um, just I was thinking about something. Yeah, the. Ecclesiastes uh, 3, verse uh, uh, 1. Shall will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah, man, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The mist is going to do some damage, man. Don't forget about the chariots, they're going to do some lasering, you know, some blasting as well, man. Some concentrated fire, man, it's going to come down out of the mouth, you know, as the scriptures say, man. It's going to be a terrible thing. People are going to be blasted up to powder, man. Okay? The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Yeah, man. So the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up, man. But the earth abided forever. So the things that are here, you see, going to see a lot of fire, man. That's going to come, that's going to come to this world, man. You know, there's a lot of uh, things that are popping off. But if you're looking for something, so jump. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15 For behold, the hour will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah, my soul, the, you know, the chariot's gonna come, man. The chariot's gonna come, it's gonna be fire, it's gonna be, you know, the most is gonna show his anger, man. You know? God? For by fire and by his sword will the most high plead with all flesh and the slain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like it. It for by it's fire, like for by fire and by a sword, will the Lord meet with all flesh. Yeah, when the Lord Yahweh Shai comes back, you know that's how He's going to speak, man. You know, what was it Matthew 10 and, uh, and uh, 34? <coughs> well, he's coming back with a sword, man. Can you get that? Uh, you can draw also on your phone if you can. Can't read. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be men. Yeah, man. So that's how the mo 
now, you know, the most I is speaking to, like we just read, to, uh, uh, you know, since, since days, the days of old, you know, he, he spoke to his servants, the, the, the prophets, man, rising up early, so that means before shit hits the fan, we warning y'all, like, hey, get right with the most high, it's time to stop doing bullshit, become a new man in the Lord, created after his spirit, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and get right, man, before uh, the Lord, uh, you know, closes, closes the door upon you, man, you know? Because you already see people bugging out, man. These uh, people are these other camps. They coming out. They coming up against the walls. What, what can you do, man? You know, you can't force the course of the river. You can't. You're gonna be, you know, flushed out, man. And the Most High gonna burn people up, man. That go against uh, his his word because you're not going against uh, regular men. You're going against uh, the men of the Lord, man. And you know, first and foremost, uh, can you get the uh, yeah, first Thessalonians 4. Uh, verse 8. Can I read? This is uh, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Behold, they come in, they shall burn as a woman, and all the proud. Yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Yeah, man, you see? So, behold, the day come in, that shall burn as an oven. It's going, this, this whole place is going to be burned up, man. You know, and these devils, they make their, their plans, but they're going to be, you know, a part of the menu, man. You know, they, 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 they're going to be, <laughs> they're going to be cooked, man. They're going to be roasted, man. Okay? Uh, Basically, uh, that was for the first one. A little bit more. Okay, okay, sorry. And the days, uh, uh, and the day that comet shall burn them up. And the shall be made of neither wood nor branch. Yeah, read it again, but we'll show the last God. part. The wind came. Yeah. Uh, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither roots nor branch. Yeah, it's going to be over with these devils, man. It's going to be done. These devils, the only thing that they can look forward to is going to, into captivity, man. Can you, really, uh, can you jump to Psalm 21, verse uh, 9? Because <coughs> that is, uh, you know, all the proud, all the, all the all them people are going to be burned up, man. You know, warfare is going to come. But this, this, this is the, the final, uh, 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 basically, uh, thing that the most is going to do concerning, um, you know, bringing his violence. Of course, we're going to do some damage to the hour of the South of the Spirit to these people as well, man. You know? But the ultimate, the ultimate uh, uh, fire is going to be these missiles and the chariots that are going to blast up. You know this uh, this earth, man. Everyone that is against Yahweh Basha and Yahweh Shai is going to be, you know, cut off in that uh, in that day. And also, in in those days that are, you know, in Jacob's trouble and all these perilous times that are ahead of us, man. But at the end, the final judgment is the lake of fire, which is, you know, these thermal nuclear missiles, man. Uh, Psalm uh, 21, verse 9. Psalms, you know, it's going to be a lot of blasting, man. A lot of fire coming, man. Huh? In the this is Psalms, chapter 21, verse 9. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven. Can you, uh, my angel? Um, this is Psalms uh, 21, verse uh, 8. Thine hand shall find out yeah. all thine enemies. Then hands shall find out all thine enemies. The Most High has enemies, man. He's gonna deal with them, man. You know, because you have these d damn devils. Uh, uh, Salah, can you jump to Psalm 83 real quick? And uh, for verse so one and two. Psalms 83. Silence, O Yahweh, hold not thy peace and be not still, O Yahweh, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, huh? And they and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate thee have lifted up the head. And you see these devils, what do they do? Mm. They can't stand the truth, man. You know, they can't stand uh, 
uh, they hate the most I man. You know, what do they do? Can you get 2nd Thessalonians, uh, uh, real quick, uh, 2 verse uh, 4, you know? They replace, they, they, they are so full of uh, pride that they, you know, put themselves up everywhere as being the Most High, as being the Son, as being the angels, as being the, 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 the saints, the children of Israel, you know, the ones that are sanctified, you know? Well, yet they, they don't even uh, love the Bible, man. But they don't want you to get your salvation. That's basically the point, man. They want you to be uh, be very low, but it's all according to the will of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? So he put them up, uh, 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 you know, in power. They went against us. You know, they went overboard. But the Most High is, you know, checking everything. And he's going to punish the, uh, them for that, man. Since God has not, uh, 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 you know, hated blood, even blood shall so be. You know? That's that uh, damn devil, Esau, man. So come. Uh, who, who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High? Who, ex who opposes? He's against. If you oppose something, you're against, man. And what does the word uh, Diablos goes into? One who opposes the Heavenly Father and chooses the side of Satan, man. If you go into the word Diablos in Revelation 12, 12, for, uh, for instance, man. You know, and if you go to Ephesians 2, verse uh, 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 1 and 2, the children of disobedience, disobedience goes into ones that oppose the divine will. So they're against the Heavenly Father, man. Against the, they, are, they hate the Heavenly Father, man, and His Son, man. And His people, man. Gun? Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he is as the Most High. In the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is God. Yeah, man, so he sets himself up to be the Most High with that Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, with that Masonic M, you know, so called with Adam, his, with the creation, a big, a, a naked. Uh, you know, uh, or almost naked, because if you eat, it's, it's practically naked. You know, uh, you see a guy with long hair, with a white beard, Edomite, you know, with the Masonic M touching his creation. Come on, man. You all know that that's way off, man. Way off, man. And disrespectful, man. Way disrespectful, man. Can you get uh, uh, Ezekiel 28, verse 6? You know that this, this uh, what what this devil is doing is all a bunch of a bunch of nonsense, man. So um, yeah, Ezekiel 28 verse uh, six uh, till uh, till nine. And this this month this this dude is is, is working with with Satan, man. Or if you can, uh, uh, you already can you. Because I wanted the other thing as well. Ah, basically, yeah, we already... But uh, yeah, the can... thing is, the Thessalonians? Yeah, verse, uh, can you jump to verse... Uh... of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? Yeah, until the wicked be revealed. The earth is being created, uh, is being uh, uh, given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not, where and who is he? We see the wicked now. Man, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Malachi 1 and 4, you know? These 
people are the border of wickedness. They are the wicked. They, they, the world is in the hands of the wicked. How many uh, more scriptures do you need, man? The most I set up the basis of men. Who are those? The Edomites, man. You know, they are violent in the earth. You know? And their nature comes out because the Job was uh, speaking, uh, you know, in Job 30, it speaks about um, that these devils were praying. That that's making sounds of donkeys, man. When they go to the football clubs to the stadiums and when they drink, <laughs> you know, they making beast like sounds, man. <laughs> Bring, man. They're, 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 oh, man. These people are lower, they're violent on the earth. You see videos of bitches think, thinking that things are just pissing, even that they will get right the right in their ass, man. Like, how right disgusting is that? Yeah, how disgusting is that, man? Because many of these things, of they, they kissing dogs and all that, man, horrible, man. And that's also what Job says, man. You can even put these people with, with the, I don't even want to put them with the dogs, man. They, they rape the dogs, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Nasty ass. They're nasty people, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Beth Deco. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to know where that word comes from. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know what it is. Yeah, yeah man. man. So, uh... Yeah, man, so he covered the faces uh, of the judges thereof, and that's by iconoclasm, man, destroying the, 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 the images of, uh, uh, you know, the, the, like the saints you know, from back in the days. If you look at Russian icons, you can, if you look up Russian icons, you can see that uh, all these, uh, the prophets, you know, you see King David, you see a lot of, uh, uh, even the Lord, you know. Uh, you see all dark-skinned people, man. The prophets are dark, the angels are very, very dark, like the scriptures say, man. But, uh, yeah, can you go to, uh, uh no, the, the Ezekiel, like, uh, what okay. I say in the hands of, uh, devil. Uh, this is, uh, the book of Ezekiel, <laughs> chapter 28 and verse uh, six. 6. Therefore thus said Yahweh, the Most High, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Mosai. Yeah, man, proud, you know, setting himself up, uh, you know, uh, opposing the Mosai, setting himself up like he is the Mosai. Huh? Behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the death of them that are slain in the pit of the sea. Horrible time for these damn devils, man. Come. Will thou yet say before him that slay thee? I am God, but thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Yeah, man. So that's when you're gonna be humble, man. You, you're gonna know that you ain't, you ain't, you ain't nothing, man. You ain't no, you ain't, you're not the most high, man. You're nothing, man. You know, you're gonna be slain, man. The most high is gonna put these devils in, in terrible predicaments, man. They're gonna be put to death, man. You know, Babylon's gonna be destroyed, man. It's gonna be in an hour. It's gonna be over, man. The missiles are gonna are gonna be dropping at 200 million million. It's gonna be a lot of missiles. Boop, 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 drop. You know, the earth shall will will to and fro like a drunkard. You know, it's gonna be a terrible time for them, man. You know, and uh, to f uh, finish it off, uh, um, because we need to be going. Uh, we can end it with uh, uh, Psalm 21. Verse 8 till 11. Yeah. And you had something, by the way, that's uh, yeah. just uh, the, the second Thessalonians 8, uh, 2 and 8. Call in Lama Lama, then that's yeah. good, man. <laughs> this is Psalms uh, chapter 21 verse 8 Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee Oh Salah, yeah, man, you had the Psalms 83, right? Uh, yeah, I had 83, yeah I was Oh, you dropped it? Yeah, I dropped it well, you Yeah, because because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah still, oh, he's still there, your apartment. Yeah, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, spirit, man. Your apartment. Where oh, you want me to start? Yeah, oh, yeah just yeah, at, at, at one, man. Because I want to point out, like, if these devils, they hate, man. They hate the, the Heavenly Father, man. And they hate his people, huh? This is Psalms chapter 83, verse 1. 
Keep not thy silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. So the Most High, you know, you see, thine enemies make a tumult. You know, a lot of people be like, oh no, love everyone. No, man. It's, it's every, and yet, on the, in the same breath, they say like, yeah, you go into hell and burn forever. Come on, man. <laughs> but read. God. Which hell is, is you know, it, 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 that's, that's Greek mythology, man. This, you know, the scriptures talk about, uh, you know, uh, 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 hell. Jonah was in the belly of hell, which is, you know, you, you're beneath the, uh, the ground or in, in, the, in, the, in the earth, you're in, in, in the grave, you know. You're not in the place where a guy uh, uh, from out of Greek mythology or whatever is waving around the pitchfork. <laughs> you know, nah, man. You know, you watch it too much, there's too much of these uh, cartoons, man, and Grecian uh, shit, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they that hate me have lived up the head. Yeah, man, they're proud, man. Like, you know, the most I don't, you, you know, they can see this or whatever. You can be ruling so good now, you know, like in the other scriptures, man. God. Verse 3 They have taken craft counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. You see, they've taken a crafty counsel, man, against thy people. You know, and consulted against thy hidden ones, against the children of Israel, man. God. Verse 4 They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, man. So they are against, that's why they hate everything, man. You know, Khan? Verse 5. Covering the faces of the judges of wrath, you know, doing away with our uh, heritage and not saying that they are us. Come on, man. Khan, read. Khan, verse 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. They're against the Heavenly Father, against his people, Khan. Verse 6. Against Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man, Khan. The tabernacles of Edom, come on, these, these damn devils, man, and all these other nations, man, come and the Ishmaelites come of Moab and the Hagarites. Yeah, man, all them, they Moabites, you know, even them, the, all of them, man, them Hamites, them Ishmael, uh, them the so called uh, Arabians, man, them so called Africans, all of them, man. But yeah, you can jump back, man. It's a whole list. All these people, like we read the first Maccabees 2 and 10, all of them are, are against us, man. So we can uh, wrap it up in the. Uh, you can jump back to uh, 21. Go on. Let's start with uh, 8. Uh, verse 9. Verse 9. So the Moses is going to, his right hand is going to find out all his enemies, Khan, and then? Khan, this is uh, Psalms chapter 21, verse 9. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath. And the fire shall devour them. Okay. Their fruit shall not destroy from the earth. Salakia. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. Yeah, man, it's going to be a wrath for these Edomites uh, for all these, you know, uh, 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 the things that they have done against Yahweh Basham Yahweh Basham Yahshai and against the, the people, man. Okay. Verse 11. For they intended uh, evil against them. Uh, they imagined uh, a mischievous device. You know, the NWO, the, the Build Back Better, whatever you want to call it, you know, uh, you know, depopulation, all the bullshit that they're doing, huh? uh, which they are not able to perform, which they are not able to perform. So they're going to uh, gonna go through with that, man, because the Lord is going to come back and put a stop to all that, man. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is going to put a stop to that, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back. So, yeah, man. So with that, we are going to wrap it up. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Kakwadash, Basham, Kakwadash. Double honor unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that rule well and that told us the truth. Salutations to say, Achim out there, you believe in Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, and to the few sisters out there, Shalom. Shalom.